hello and welcome again class 10 standard students that you are very happy your examinations are going on and only three papers are remaining out of those you are thinking about science part 2 and in this subject the chapter number 6 that is animal classification is the most important chapter and I am going to give you most important questions from the same chapters uh, this lecture is only for same English and English medium students uh, those are from this medium they can go, go through and find out all the important questions also uh, in the afternoon I may give important questions of another chapters also after 1 pm if this video gets 1000 views up to that time okay then let us go for our uh, next clip here science teachers Sri Suresh K. Nodkar and Sri Rajesh Wag are the responsible persons to create such a kind of very good PPT and myself Mahimud Mulani sir uh, owner of this channel Mahimud Mulani online education is uh, presenting this information to all the students let us go for the questions unit number six animal classification this is the most important topic from your book because it carries about 10 to 12 marks in your question booklet here is the first question fill in the blanks and i am going to write uh, the answers very fast because that much time is not remaining in my hand now i am writing the answers very fast the cavity between the body and the internal organs it is called as as you know it is called as this i want to like to take a colored pen it is called as body cavity english medium students and same english medium students are very lucky to get such a kind of video you can share this video to your friends and also uh, like this video also comment this video and subscribe this channel in porifera the water is taken in through the holes that holes are called as ostia and the water is given out through the holes those holes are called as oscula greek philosopher classified animals for the first time it is no other than great Aristotle who classified the animals first time animal belongs to porifera have special type of cells called as collar cells and there is a specific function of collar cells animals attract to substratum are called as sedimentary animals annelida have dash dash for locomotion this is o they have parapodia for their locomotion body of annelid animal is long cylindrical and it is a non-segmented body of annelida. Then endoskeleton of cyclostomata animal is you can write the answer as cartilaginous. All higher animals shows system grade organization spiny exoskeleton are made up of spines जैसे कि वो काटेदार होता है उसको spines कहते हैं find odd man out which is different from the group annelida arthropoda reptilian and muscular reptilian are the odd man out tenaria liver fluke filarial arm and tapeworm 
out of those filarian worm is different hydra sea anemone cycon and coral cycon is different cockroach butterfly spider honeybee out of those cockroach arthropoda is different okay then ostia osculum tentacles and collar cells as you know tentacles are different because all those are just discussed in the upper few questions then number 6 tube feet cetai parapodia and sucker out of those tube feet are different i am just going to underline few of the odd man outs sting ray electric ray and it is also called as pamphlet or pomfret uh, all are in one category shark is a different frog tortoise toad and salamander out of those tortoise is different again question number 3 complete the analogy annelida platyhelminthus <laughs> liver fluke annelida it is a example is given as earthworm amoeba asymmetrical frog is symmetrical but it is bilateral symmetrical scorpion in the same manner uh, the no place for answer is here okay then frog amphibia turtle is from reptile reptilia here cyclostomata is the answer liver fluke is bisexual at the same time ascaris are unisexual bird from very cold regions penguin and again aquatic mammals from very cold region it is a whale fish mammalia and porifera you can write here the answer right or wrong that is true or false if false write the correct sentence uh, members of phylum porifera uh, reproduce by a sexual method only this is only word is here actually wrong therefore this set statement is false then honey bee are hermaphrodite no it is also a false sentence then number 3 also false number 4 except snails all muscula are bilaterally symmetrical it is actually true only the snail is the different from all those the liver fluke is an ectoparasite it is false it is also false seventh is also false you can read herm hermania number 8 it is also false and the last one elves have spindle shaped body to reduce air resistance during flying yes it is correct it is a true one answer in one word or sentence in that i am diploblastic which phylum do i belong it belongs to silentrata and then my body is radically symmetric it is starfish and then you can read all those given characteristics 
I don't waste any time because I have also to go to my school in the early in the morning. Therefore, I am going through all those questions for chapter number six. You can go through your book and find out the answers. Select the correct alternative that is multiple choice questions are here. Number one, bat is mammal because bat have milk secreting glands due to which milk characteristics honeybee and cockroaches are included in the same phylum it is the joint appendages are there which special cells are present in the body of sponges that is porifera special cells are in porifera collar cells are also there which of the following animals body shows bilateral symmetry bilateral symmetry it it may be earthworm is having a bilateral symmetry which of the following animals can regenerate its broken part as you know broken parts are created by sponge and not by sparrow or frog or cockroach bat is included which class bat is included in the mammals this is confusing questions few students like that bat is a bird but bat is not a bird it is mammal for seven days that shows the characteristics of both the groups chordates and non chordates those are called as balanoglossus cold bodied animals number eight question cold bodied animals uh, i think snakes are also cold bodied animals tortoise belongs to the class reptilia it is does not belong to class amphibia because few of the students are thinking like that but amphibia is not the correct answer frog is the amphibian dolphin belongs to class dolphin number 10 it is also a mammalian then complete the following table body cavity absent body cavity absent body cavity present and so on you can write all those questions use book write all those blank spaces okay in this manner uh, we have gone through few of your most important questions from chapter number 6 and this is a very short video in the same manner all other questions can also be given to you from chapter number 1 to chapter number 5 and chapter number 7 to chapter number 10 in the afternoon session when i will come back from my school until there have a good day thank you